Hey beauties, so today we are starting from scratch and we are going right in with the Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is one of my favorite Beauty Blender-like products uh, because of the two different sides. Anyways, I've been mixing two different colors. Um, sorry, I got a whole bunch of foundation right in my septum ring there. Um, so I'm blending the two different colors. Um, I will leave them below. They're both wet and wild full coverage foundations. Um, in the summer I try to add a little bit more warmth and a more like yellow toned one in with my normally fair skin color and I feel like it gives a good payoff and gives me a little bit more color. So anyway just dabbing that in and blending it in that this has been my favorite way to apply foundation uh, as of late. I feel like it's really effective. It covers all my redness. I'm singing right now so it's really good that you actually cannot hear me. Um, and just really trying to blend this in and again focusing on my redness but blending it all the way out because again I added some yellow so I don't want it to be like really noticeable and it does oxidize a teensy bit on me so it does darken a little bit. Okay so I'm going in with the Maybelline Age Rewind in light um, so I hate that applicator so I just put it on with my finger and I took off the sponge um, in like the highlighting spots on my face and then there's a little bit of extra redness there so I just kind of wanted to put it there. Um, and I will be blending this in for the most part with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Um, I think this is really good, but I have a little bit of trouble because I have a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but I have some fine lines under my eyes and I don't really love, uh, I feel like sometimes the, the blender can, I don't know, like I can't seem to figure out how to get it to work like smoothly enough. So I start off with the blender and then I end up going in with my fingers and I feel like that gives me a, a smoother, more even finish uh, for the concealer. Um, and then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Fergie. This is the eyeshadow primer. Uh, I really like this one. It doesn't have a ton of pigment in it, but it has a good amount of, uh, like it helps the eyeshadow really have a good amount of staying power, which I really appreciate. So once I'm finished applying the primer on my eyelids, I'm going to use the NYC setting powder and I use the other end of the Miracle Complexion sponge. Um, it's like a flat end. I actually really like this for applying the powder. Um, so I don't know if this is baking or setting or what I'm doing, but I pretty much put it in um, the areas where I applied concealer, anywhere that I feel like I need any type of additional coverage or setting. And I don't put a ton of it on but I put a good amount and then I just kind of let it do its thing. Um, so I wanted to show you guys I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, dip brow in ash brown and I feel like I skip over this in every video because I just do the same thing to my brows. I don't have much in the way of brows to be completely honest and this is the brow um, brush that goes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. It's number 12 or number 18, I can't remember which, but I will leave a link for it below. Um, I do really like the brush. Uh, I don't think you need the brush if you have another uh, angled brush that you like. I think that would work just fine too. I've had it for a couple years. It is lasting quite well and it has a spoolie on the other end, which is nice, um, but I don't think it's like super essential um, and it wasn't cheap for the record. Um, okay, so the brow routine is done. Sorry, Michael is joining us and being a bit of a pain there. Shocker, I know. Um, so now I'm going to use the Real Techniques blush brush, uh, which is just massive to me. Um, and I'm using that to brush off any of the excess powder that is still on my face. Moving on to bronzer. I am using the angled brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. Um, so I'm putting that down onto my neck and then just in the contour, sort of like hollow area of my cheekbones and then along the edge of my forehead and then I put whatever's left over, I'll do a little bit along the side and tip of my nose um, and that's all like the contour bronzing that I do each day. Okay, so now for eyeshadow. My latest... <laughs> only uh, eyeshadow palette purchase <laughs> as of late, um, was is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. So it's really a beautiful palette. It is all matte shadows. Um, so I'm starting off, I also got these brushes on Amazon. I will link them below. That's just like the fluffiest brush. The closest one to that I think is the Real Techniques Crease Brush. And I'm going into the color Nudie which is a little bit darker than my skin tone and blending that all along the lid and into the crease as my transition shade. And then I'm slowly gonna pick deeper and deeper colors to um, fill in my crease and just kind of give me some 
some shading and some browning in there. Um, so now I'm going into Instinct, which has a little bit of a purplish, mauve type tone, and I'm going in with a um, like smaller crease brush and really just pushing, pushing it into the crease of my eye and then blending it upwards. I'm trying not to like blend it out too far. Um, and again, they say that as your colors get darker, you should use a smaller brush so that you're being more precise with the application of it. So I'm trying to sort of demonstrate this here. So again, this brush set is MSQ, I think, um, and none of them are individually labeled. So all I can do is just kind of describe the type of color that I'm using, or the type of brush that I'm using. Okay, so now I'm going into Lookout, which is a matte cool brown, and using that same brush, and again, you see I'm just really focusing in on the crease, um, not blending it out much further than that. I really want the concentration of that dark color to be in my crease, um, and just blending it up a little bit, but trying not to go out too much to the sides. I feel like that makes my eyes a little droopy looking, just to be honest. And I'm just continuing to build that up and blend it until I get the color payoff that I want. Sorry, Michael's being really sweet and lovey, and I'm just kind of enjoying that. He's been like that a lot lately. I think it's because I'm pregnant and he knows. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm getting the bigger blending brush, and I'm going back into Instinct, which is that mauve color. And this one I'm blending out further, and um, this is the slightly lighter color, and just sort of, I don't know, I guess kind of smoking it out. Um, and these brushes are actually super soft. I've only had them for about a week, so I can't like make an official stance. But uh, aside from the fact that they're not individually labeled, I do actually really like them. Um, okay, so now I'm going in with another one of those MSQ brushes, um, but it is a flat um, eyeshadow brush, and I'm going into the lightest color in the Nude Basics palette, which is called Blow. I do think this has a teensy bit of shimmer to it. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like two or three colors in this palette, maybe two, um, the color Magnet and the color Blow. I feel like they have a little bit of a sheen to them. I wouldn't call them shimmers, but I feel like they have a sheen to them. So out of the 12 colors in the matte palette, I really think those two have a bit. Um, okay, so now I'm going into Lookout, that um, matte cool brown, and that same brush, and just putting that into the lower lash line, and then blending it a bit with my finger. Just trying to give some intensity, some definition on that lower lash line. Okay, and then going into my NYX Brown Perfection, which is the waterproof um, dark brown eyeliner, and just doing, just thickening up my lash line. Okay, so now I'm taking that um, eyeliner and putting it a little bit on the outer edge of the lower lash line, and then smudging it in just to give a little bit more color there. And now I'm going into one of the Maybelline Color Sensational Cool Tone. This is Graystone. Um, lip liner and um, outlining and filling in with this color. I really like those types of tones. And then I'm going in with the NYX Lingerie Matte Liquid Lipstick in Corset. I feel like these have really great lasting powder, and this is one of lasting power. And this is one of my favorite colors. I really think that this is just really cool looking. Um, so that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching.